Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about rastering versus vectoring. So this would be your engraving, this would be your cutting, these are hairlines, and I contoured them. And just to show you how you do that, you just take your text, go over to the no fill, click your left mouse button, click your right mouse button, and I always, mine is set on hairline. Go up to effects, contour. Now I've already got, I've already done some tests, and I set this up. I'm going to do four steps at 0 0.02 inches to the inside, and I hit apply, and I get that effect. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody, um, but it does give a good effect, and it's a lot quicker. This took. 2 minutes and 16 seconds to engrave. This took 36 seconds. And what it looks like, I've got a sample right here. Now, it's not as good as engraving. I'll, I'll have to admit that. But if you were just marking something and needed a bunch of things quick quicker, and it's kind of a neat looking effect. Uh, now, this one, I, I put the focus about three-eighths of an inch above the focus point because if you didn't do that you just have a bunch of lines cut and it would actually uh, kind of char the wood a little bit but this is a pretty neat looking effect I mean I don't know that I'd ever use it but if you ever wanted a rustic sign or something and it kind of looks like it's been hand done it's you know almost the same depth uh, you can actually see where the laser kind of started and stopped, but it, it did engrave it down. Now it's not as clean as, as that, and the picture never does justice, but it's a neat effect. And, you know, if you haven't watched my other one, Raster versus Vectoring, for doing lines, it'll save you a lot of time. But if you were doing a lot of something, and, and this might work better on other things than wood. I mean, I should, I might even try it on granite and see what it does. Um, anyway, both these were run at uh, 50 power, 100 speed. Both of them were run at that. This was a half, three eighths of an inch above focus, but this took two minutes and 16 seconds. And I took, I think this took 36 seconds. So if you needed to back, you know, in, mark a bunch of stuff real quickly, you could, you know, this is almost four times faster than that. All right, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.